Good morning, everyone! It's Rima, the only pislet in Peru! Yahoo! <laughs> Do you want to know? Ayan, I'm done taking a bath. It's uh, Tuesday morning. Dara also took a bath. Pasensyaan nyo na po. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. That is preparing breakfast. Ay, it's done, the egg. Breakfast, breakfast tayo mga islat. Busy kayo si Manuel. Manuel is very busy. Anyway, we will. May love. Let's do the second part. Sure. <laughs> Taking breakfast. We will take the opportunity to tell you the second part because it's really hard to film with my husband. You know, my husband is so busy. Busy by the way, at the same time. Our breakfast for today is chorizo. Oh, ganyan yung chorizo dito, ha? In Peru, chorizo looks like this. Very different from Philippines. This is longanisa. One, one time. Ah, you mean the size? size ah, the that's one. longanisa in the Philippines. Yeah. Chorizo is like, it's different. It's different. And the okay, that's the breakfast for today. Yes, baby. Why, yours is there. Yours is here. Come here, come here. Lang po kasi. Hmm. Nagutom na po ang aming baby. Ang aming bibidara kay nagutom na ba? Ah, baro? Ah, bari, bari? Dara will eat I can, don't put it. I boiled put it and... I move it or you move it? I did. Put it here? No, it maps this. That's why. Really? But it's not hot. No, it maps. The material, I don't know what that makes, but it maps. Da 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 Okay, sorry. I'm not gonna do it again. Is that amazing? Thank you. What's the video? Ah, there. Yeah, Manuel. At least I hope you learn to cook, huh? That is not careful you use for a second. You need to learn. I... Dara's breakfast is boiled egg with rice. Rice, daddy, no? Mm? Rice. For Dara, what is it? Mm, a little of rice. Mm. Or just egg, it's okay? Oh, no, we're fine, it's okay. Okay, go, go. Put Dara in her chair, come. Please. Mm. Put Dara in her chair, for favor. When we eat, we eat. 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 Because he's a malcriado and he will be here and it's not good. Para que, para que, baker's man, where is your fork? Tapos, what I do is, I There, there, there. That's Dara's breakfast and that's mine. And then Manuel will prepare his breakfast. Meron ko pong natira. This, uh, my mother-in-law prepared this yesterday. 
that one and frijol this is very delicious frijol 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 very delicious guys but today we're gonna eat this maybe we, we will eat this for lunch or maybe they will eat that uh later because they are still sleeping Dara Manuel! Dara Manuela! Maglagay tayo ng placemats! Yeah, here in Peru, it's very common guys. Um, putting placemat is very common. Wherever you go, people put placemats in their house, in their, on their table. Yeah. So, and here in Peru also, uh, when they eat, it's not like it, it's not like in the Philippines, like it's a buffet style. No, they will serve you the food. Okay. So, madam, my love, come here now because my class is at eleven. Remember, madam Dami, that's yours, madam Dami. Can you bring? Again, you won't have the night time. What time is it? 10.31 Shucks A lot of free haul Mom's free haul Yeah, I'm not very with the company Let's wait, wait There's more Transfer po kayo dito guys I'm gonna transfer you here Because as usual We're just you know, making use of our time. So while eating, let's chica chica. Para que, para que, bakers man. Where is your Bobby Cass, my lady man? Please. Mm. Couple, man. Um, no, it's okay. We made the 2012, and we mentioned it was in two. Then we passed to Facebook. We were friends for five months, and in 2012, uh, December 12th, for mm. 2012, we started a relationship. Yeah, yeah, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna then, answer because they're, huh? they're curious why <clears throat> they're curious about what you said that I put a message there. That's why you wrote me. What well, they say? They hike, what are you? No, they, they got. They got curious. What message did I put that? Because mm. you mentioned about mm. that. I guess the message is still in your talk. It's the same. No. I put that message because. No, but what they want to know? Are, what did you put? You remember the text? I put there. I put there. Um, I'm not here to play games like that. So if you're not serious. Don't add me as a friend because I, I don't want to waste your time and I don't want to waste my time. Yeah. Let's not waste each other's time. I put there because you know what? That time, there are many scammers online. A lot of scammers. Super. They can put bastos as in. Mm. So, I put that one so they will not disturb me. Mm. And then, yeah. So, I stopped there, um, the, the December 12th, Manuel asked Nochi to send me the, the gifts and then I was really amazed. It's the thought that counts. <laughs> it's the thought that counts. Yeah. Um, the first time that he came here, actually when I met him, he was still a student. He was still a student, right? Second year? There yeah, I am. I was in the seventh semester when we met. Seventh semester? Yeah, three years and a half. So I was done with my studies. 
I was already working and then he was still <laughs> studying. Third mm-hmm. year college, second year college. T- third year and a half because it's seven semester. No, because you finished in 2015. That's why, because I had delays. But when we met, I was in the seventh semester. <laughs> and then, you know what he did? He saved. He saved his allowance. Mm. My love, no. You saved your your mm. allowance. It's no better if I share it. <laughs> <laughs> go go. <clears throat> 2012 and 2015 was far relationship. Uh, go some uh, go some back a few right. Mm. A few we make a struggle the relationship. And then, so I was saving money during that three years. I saved from my from my allowance. I say I practically reduce even in, in lunch time. In lunch, I eat a sandwich only just to save money. I you need I need many sacrifices because of course I, I want I'm not from rich family, so it's not as easy. For example, as someone from USA that can decide to go to Philippines very easy. No, from Peru it's not too cheap. So I save money. I say in everything, even even. Even studying architecture, I found a way to say because in, in architecture we spend a lot of money in the presentations, in the models, in the in the blueprints we spend a lot. Even though I say money, so we reached 2015. It was March when I already got the money for go to the Philippines. I got around two thousand dollars, which which was more than enough for going back from from Philippines. So what I did, I bought a ticket for Delta Airlines because in that moment I, I, I you saw it was a good option so I bought it <clears throat> Delta Delta so then uh, I find out the moment that it, I, I knew I mean I knew that I need visa for U, transit visa for USA but I didn't I didn't thought on, I didn't think on that moment that it's gonna be a big deal get a transit visa for Canada for yes. USA <clears throat> So I went to the embassy for get my transit visa for USA and it was denied. I didn't know why because of course when you go to the interview they don't tell you anything. They you ask you, How much some, did you pay? they ask you uh, $160. Mm. And they they make you some questions and you answer and then they and then they just give you a paper and give you back your your passport. So it means that it was denied. You can ask why, you can ask anything, then you say the next one. They are <clears throat> so I tried a second time because I was thinking, okay, maybe I didn't show my, my bank my bank statement later because I'm very hard-headed. Mm. So I tried it again and it was denied you again. You paid again? Ah, of course. Each try you need to pay. I tried three times like, as far as I know mm. and it was denied. So in that moment I say no more, of course. but. I was blessed that Delta Airlines could have could have changed my ticket. That's an advice also. If you don't have the visa, don't buy the ticket. That I made a mistake because it was the first time and I was I didn't think, I didn't know how it worked. Mm-hmm. So good that they returned me the the one hundred the one thousand eight hundred dollars. Because they accepted my justify for returning the money that I was not approved by the embassy. So they they accepted that. So then it was, we were, so when all of this happened, it was August already, and I already planned to travel in September. So I was, I was, I was thinking, what could I do now? Because of course I, I didn't know other ways to go. I know there was a way to Mexico, but it was more expensive than the ticket. And on that moment, checking, checking my options, I saw the option of Canada. But in Canada, I also needed a transit visa. The only advantage of that is that the transit visa is free and you do it online. So I made a process and like that, uh, send my document, all that they require, and it was denied also the first time. But mm-hmm. the difference is that they give you a letter telling you why it was And you didn't pay. Oh, no, I didn't pay also. Why it was denied. Mm-hmm. So the reason why it was denied was because I didn't have a history travel. Of course, it was the first time I travel. And the second, it was because I, I didn't show the the as I was going for sixty days. I needed the, to show that I have the visa for my final destination. Of course, because if you go to the Philippines, you can go there um, without pro, without visa for thirty days only. Mm. So what I did is want good to say on that time there was a still the consul of Philippines here in Peru. 
So it was very easy to contact them. And they were very kind, very nice. And I got my, my tourist visa on that time. I got my tourist visa for 60 days and for the Philippines. And with all the documentation, I apply again to, to Canada cons, to Canada Embassy, and it worked out this time. So I got my... And all happened practically one week before travel. Mm. So all, all, all happened in August, very fast, all, all worked out. So the day of travel, I go to the, to the airport, I wait the airplane, and the airplane didn't move for three hours. <laughs> 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 So I arrived to the Philippines midnight of September 3 mm, yeah. to Manila. And of course, I was alone there because uh, unfortunately, uh, as we, as it was a rush in the, in the exchange of dates because of what happened with the first airline by USA, I already bought her, I bought her a ticket for she picked me in Manila. But it was for September 5. So it means that I'm gonna be one day alone in Manila. Mm. So I arrived to Manila in September 3 at midnight. And it was my first time, of course, there. Of, of course, it was uh, my first time traveling outside, outside my country. My first time that I had to manage by myself also. What time is it? 10.45. It's a 15 minutes, okay. Um, okay. Tell them uh, when we met. When we met. Yeah. And then. So as it was my first time, I didn't know the the yellow taxis or what transportation to take. So when I leave the airport, there was a lot of a lot of a lot of workers who mm. have the transportation services. Mm. And I was only staying in Pasa in Pasay, which mm. is very near. But of course, as I didn't know. They charged me with 1,000 1, pesos for taking me like 10,500. Yeah, something like that, right? 1,500. You for taking me like 10 minutes from the airport. What's a, lot, what's a lot of money, but of course I didn't know and it looked safe, so I took it. So on, on September 4, <laughs> I, had, I had the chance to, to meet a little of Pasai, which is. So, um, right my right on September 5 at 9 p.m. So I, I went to the airport at around 8 and I was waiting for her. Mm. That she arrived for a term. <laughs> and then, sorry, I got very nervous okay. because it was, it was also my first time to travel from from Cagayan de Oro to Manila. My first time alone, but good. I was alone. I was very nervous and then when I arrived to the airport, we were writing each other already. And then we couldn't find each other. <laughs> Mm. Because it was my first time. It was, was very crowded. Ah, really. uh, it was very crowded actually, and then we couldn't find each other. But I was very nervous. Like my gosh, how will how will Manuel um receive me, and how will I receive Manuel? Something like that. It was very. Well, I was very nervous. Do you want? Don't know. And then, <laughs> when, we, when, when we finally saw each other, I got very shy, actually. I got very shy. My first impression was, Manuel was very tall. Yeah, I was thinking, wow, she, he's very tall. <laughs> but I'm not, actually. <laughs> but he's not, actually. And then, when, when I first saw him, I was like frozen. I, uh, did okay. I, I was like frozen and then and then but we hug each other we give hug and kiss and then course. and we hug each other and i didn't want to kiss actually <laughs> because i was really shy a lot of people around there were many people but manuel manuel said no because it's like there will be a gap no if if yeah if there's an awkward moment mm, yeah it, it will be a gap mm. and it's not good because you need to when you met someone for first time you need to make it like like if you know already that person like it's just a continuously of the far relationship because mm. if you get awkward at the first impression you ruin everything yeah you will ruin everything and it won't work out correct you need to be fluent as, as you were in as you were chatting or by webcam you need to be first the same my, my first kiss Emmanuel. my first kiss was manuel actually my first kiss was manuel anyway guys 
Um, I need we'll uh, we, we will continue in the next video, okay? Because I have a class at 11 and it's already 10:49 and look at me. <laughs> I still need to comb my hair. Okay, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. See you. Ciao ciao. Stay safe. Hey.